Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Pulp Crazy. I'm your host, Jason Aiken. In this week's episode, I'll be discussing a unique and cool item that has recently been published. As a matter of fact, I just got it in the mail this week. The Weird Tales Collection Magazine, published by Adventure House. I'm a big fan of Weird Tales. It's my favorite pulp magazine by far. And when I saw this item listed on Pulp Coming Attractions, I was immediately drawn to it. The magazine is 40 pages, and it's packed with full-color images of Weird Tales covers. The magazine doesn't offer a complete assortment of Weird Tales covers, as that's not the purpose of the publication, but it's full of covers of landmark and key issues. The magazine is really an auction program book, printed to coincide with a complete collection of Weird Tales that are being auctioned off on May 1st, 2015, with Adventure House Auctions. Besides being a publisher, Adventure House also conducts auctions, so it was a great idea for them to put this magazine out. I'll be sure to link to where you could purchase the magazine on the Adventure House website, as well as a link to the Adventure House auction page in the show notes, so you can get further information about the magazine and the auction. When in doubt, head to AdventureHouse.com, but I'll put hyperlinks in the show notes on the YouTube page and website, too. Something tells me a complete collection of weird tales is going to go for a pretty penny, but everyone can at least get in on the action with this magazine. I flipped through it for about an hour or so, the first night I got it, and really enjoyed seeing a ton of covers for the first time. It's well worth the ten dollars in my opinion. There's a few text pieces about Robert E. Howard and H.P. Lovecraft that precede their spotlight pages in the magazine. But really, this is all about seeing the covers, or seeing the grades of the magazines, in the collection being auctioned off by Adventure House. I'm going to do a little video next to kind of give you an idea of how the magazine is laid out, and what the interior looks like. So if you're listening to this via the podcast, you should definitely check out the YouTube channel to see it. Speaking of the podcast... If you listen to Pulp Crazy in podcast format, please either drop me an email, Facebook comment, YouTube comment, or tweet. I'm curious to see just how many people are listening to the podcast version of Pulp Crazy. I have an accurate count for the YouTube channel, but I'm not sure how many are listening to the podcast version of Pulp Crazy. Alrighty, I'll be right back with some video. This is just to kind of give you an idea of what the interior of the magazine looks like. There's a couple spotlight sections on Robert E. Howard and H.P. Lovecraft, but there's also a nice variety of other key issues and landmark issues throughout here. Towards the back, there's an individual listing of each issue and the grade that's assigned to it. I kind of go through the magazine here, flip through it page by page. Towards the end I'll come back and I'll kind of zoom in on a couple images just to kind of give you an idea of the quality, which I think is very high.
Pretty cool, huh? I'm wondering if anyone has published a full collection of Weird Tales covers before. That would be something I would gladly pay for, especially if they were as close to full size as possible. In the meantime, I'm very happy with this magazine published by Adventure House. It's a nice resource and a great piece for the Weird Tales collector and fan. Well, that's it for this week's episode. Pulp Crazy is located at pulpcrazy.com. I'm at pulpcrazy on Twitter and facebook.com slash pulpcrazy. My YouTube channel is located at youtube.com slash pulpcast. You can also email me at pulpcrazy at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.